What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, this is Cohen back here somewhere, and this is TWA Motorsports, and today we are really excited because he got a new car, and um, well, it's, it's exciting. So first of all, let's talk about, I told you guys in a video a while back that we got rid of his Camaro, right? And um, we got rid of his lawn mowing truck, he slid to the step side, and um, I mean, we're making that thing look better and better each day. So what did we get rid of? Well, we got rid of the Camaro, <clears throat> And I'm gonna talk about the mods on it before I get to what we got here because this car is is probably one of the most exciting cars I've had in the shop in a while as far as cars to drive. Uh, and it's actually his. So it's kind of, um, I don't know, maybe I'll take it over. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so his car obviously came in turbo kit, the Camaro came in with the turbo kit. The motor was bad. <clears throat> we pulled it apart. We ended up sticking the motor out of the Trans Am back here in it that I had together already. That had a Texas Speed 228R cam, some ported, uh, just stage one ported heads from Texas Speed as well. They were 243 heads and um, long tubes, exhaust, had every suspension piece you could imagine. It rode like crap. They were noisy. Um, but it, it, I mean, the car was nice. It was a 60,000 mile car. It was a really nice car, but I never could really get into that car. Um, I liked the look of it and he liked the look of it. That's ultimately what he wanted, but he decided to sell it. And this, we found exactly, well, <clears throat> I say exactly what he wanted. Um, yeah, but let, let's just take a look at it. Let's take a look at it because, and the reason I wanted to go over the mods on that, because I want to talk about the mods on this and I want to talk about the differences because it's a lot. So anyway, this is it, and um, I mean, tell what do you think? What, which would you rather have, the Camaro or this? Oh, this. This? Yeah. This. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we made a good decision then. Um, look, nothing wrong, like I said, with the Camaro, the way it looked, the way it drove, or anything. It was a solid car, but I think um, over time, maybe I've rubbed off on him a little bit, right? So he's driving an MBS every day, and then he's got a hot rod Trans Am. So maybe maybe dad's maybe dad is starting to rub off but look guys this thing is nasty um look there's some obvious things you can tell on the outside that are modded on the car it doesn't have a ton of mods but i'm going to go over and we're going to talk about them i'm going to try to take it we're going to try to take it for a drive let you guys hear it and um let it kind of warm up but anyway so on the outside obviously guys it's a it's a trans am it's a ws6 car ram air hood um that this is what he wanted he wanted a t-top car wanted a white trans am which golly i i love red too don't get me wrong but the white looks so good in these cars um so on the outside like visually not a ton of mods i mean if if you know these cars you know that it's lowered it's got some bmr springs all the way around uh, pretty sure the shocks are stock um at least the front ones i believe are stock but anyway it's got uh, a set of ZR1 replica wheels, uh, deep, like they're, I don't, I don't think they're considered the deep dish. They may be, they actually look a little deeper in the back. So they may be the chrome deep dish. So similar wheel to what he had on his car, except they're chrome or polished. Uh, I think they're chrome actually from the looks of when you get up close to them, but they put the WS6 logo in the middle. Looks pretty good. I think he's planning on changing wheels, right? He wants torque thrusts which look, I can't blame him. And so he's been, he's been, he's already been bothering me about, look, your car's torn apart. Why can't I just put the torque thrust on? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, so that covers the outside stuff. There's really not a lot done. The windows aren't even tinted guys. This is a 2001 model. Um, it has 63, huh? 68, 68,000 miles on it. So super low miles. So, now that we know what's covered on the outside, um, looking at the inside, you can see one thing that he really didn't want, and that is a manual transmission. Um, look guys, this car was so nice. We had found an automatic with 130,000 miles. It was a 2000 model, and we were actually planning on getting it. Um, and then this one popped up, and it was a little more money, but it's just so much it's just it's nice there's like nothing it, the interior looks great it has the normal crack starting here on the side the one on the other side has already cracked completely through and it's got a little bit of one starting up on the front side this is common too to start in that area later down the road but look at the wear on the seat there's like very little wear on the bolsters guys it is a very nice car so modification wise you can see it's got an aftermarket shifter it's got a tick shifter. It's got a tick shift ball. 
The clutch is actually stock in this car. Um, go ahead and pop the hood. <clears throat> so he put a stock clutch in it because of the amount of power that it makes. It really didn't need an aftermarket clutch, but he did put a tick adjustable master cylinder in it. Under here, it looks pretty stock. It's got SLP lid, obviously. It's got long tube headers. So I'm pretty sure, because he the guy didn't list any of the modifications really uh, in the ad. And so after talking to him, he kind of went over some of them, but I'm pretty sure there's speed engineering long tubes. It's got either a speed engineering or Cook's, I'm not sure, true dual setup. So it has two pipes that come all the way to the back and out the, the very back. So it, it sounds really good. But other than that, stock heads, it has a tick, I think it's a tick performance cam. I don't, he said it was a stage two, guys, it's, it's pretty good sized. I wanna say it's a 231, 236, 609, 602 lift. So it's a, it's a pretty substantial cam. But aside from that, uh, it's got some MSD plug wires. It is completely stock other than that. Now I know it's saying completely stock, but there's not a ton of mods here. There's n like, there's just not. This thing is violently fast compared to his blue car. It is, it is not even close. I, I thought that it would be a little quicker. It's got a set of 410 gears in the stock rear end. So I know it's got, you know, it's on borrowed time with the rear end with a 410 gear in it. I don't know if it's the 410s or the cam or what, but this thing is ridiculous. I, I, I'm kind of desensitized because of the ZR1. Um, as far as speed but we took this thing off the trailer we we went 17 hours i think it was nine hours almost nine hours one way and we did all this in one day we loaded it on the trailer drug it home we took it off the trailer late at night when we got home and i took it down the road and i was i just don't get excited because like i said i'm kind of desensitized to speed after having the zr1 but this thing actually kind of surprised me it is quick and so what we're going to do is we're going to take you, we're going to try to take you for a ride in it. Uh, we're going to start it up. It does have a set of dual valve springs, which is a requirement when you go to a cam this size. Guys, I will tell you the, the aftermarket valve springs, you want to get them nice and warm before you rip on the car. We, you would, it's always a good idea to get the car warm anyway, but especially with these aftermarket springs, they're very brittle when they're cold. And so you want to get a lot of heat in the engine before you go ripping down the road. So I'm going to open the garage. I'm going to have him start this thing up. And uh, we're gonna walk around it. Actually, you can open the garage from in there, right? We're gonna, actually, I'll leave the hood up. <clears throat> Have him fire this thing up and we're gonna listen to it um, with a cold start. Open the garage first. It has a really, really good lopey idle. It's so clean, the paint's in great shape, no dents. Oh, it's, it does have a set of 42 pound injectors. I forgot to tell you guys that. The guy did put a set of injectors in it. How incredibly good does this sound? So it didn't smoke us out of here, but I was going to show you the uh, cam card. So this is the cam card from Tick Performance. Um, let's see here on a 111 lobe separation. Yeah. Okay. So intake is a 626 lift and a 606 on the exhaust. And then duration is 231, 235. And then I don't know why, but he wrote the stock cam size in here so you can see the difference. Um, a 196 on a and 208 and then the lift was what 464 and 479 on a 115 LSA so pretty substantial difference from a stock cam in one of these things so 
you know, the cool thing about the 01 and the 02s is they have the LS6 intake. Um, I like the 2000 up models because of the interior color. I like that ebony better than I like the, um, like the lighter charcoal color. And then I just, you know, the, the newer the better, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the 98s, but, um, you know, looks wise, they all look the same. But the 98 was kind of a one year deal with the gas tank and the gas gauge. And there's, there's just some things I didn't love about it. But uh, let's get this thing warmed up and get on the streets. All right, it's been warming up for a couple minutes now. And we'll go behind it one more time. I just love the idle. We haven't had a car that idled like this here in a while. And he says he's driving, guys. You can laugh at him if he kills it. <coughs> it's really cold out too, so. thermostat which I don't know if this car does it's pretty cold out so I like to for the needle to be straight up and down but we can go drive it the shifter is definitely better than the shifter he had before I'm not real sure the, the blue car had a aftermarket shifter I want to say it was an MGW I want to say I don't remember but this one's got a little bit of surge with this size cam Seats look like they've never even been set in. Gotta get some window tints like driving a fishbowl though. So much quieter, rides better than the other one. I mean, other than exhaust, but I mean, like, no creaks or squeaks or weirdness. Car's solid. All right, we're going to find a spot in Mexico, and we'll give it a rip here.
like white as a sheet right now. I, I do not like, I don't care who it is driving. I am not a good passenger when people are driving quick. Just not. I like being the one driving. I like being on a road that's like nice and wide and there's no ditches. So if you screw up, you go off in a field, you don't wreck the car. Let's just roll, let's just give a roll into first here. Get, get through this and just kind of stab it. <laughs> oh man, guys, I'm telling you, this car makes you giggle. It is. I, I, it has to be the gears. It has to, you know, the, the, the Camaro had 342s and this has 410s. It, it's just so much more powerful. And it, this car has way less done to it. But. We're alive. We're alive. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm telling you guys, this thing is just way too wicked for a 17 year old, that's for sure. I don't know. What do you think? You think you can handle this car? Huh? You think you can handle this car? My phone flew out of my pocket when it took off. I don't know guys, it's, uh, it's a lot of car. Um, ultimately, look, you gotta learn somewhere, right? Most of the time, like I learned on a Mustang, so it was, it was freaking slow. It was a 5.0. It was terribly slow. I mean, it was a fast for me, but that was my first V8 car. And then I went to an LT car and it was a little faster, a lot faster actually. And then I got into LS stuff, but the, this car is, I don't know. It's just got, there's just something about it with that manual transmission, the gears, the cam. It just, it gets, it gets loose on the top. You know, it, it's not loose until it gets to like four grand and then the tires start rolling. But they're about, I don't remember what the date code was on them, but it was like 17 or something. So they're, you know, they're five years old. Ultimately, it probably would be a better idea to put like a, just a Nitto even on the back or a triple eight, an R triple eight. Um, but if he's going to get different wheels, we may look at that. You know, look, the upside to stickier tires is it hooks. The downside is it's, heck, it's just not as fun to drive. And sometimes the skating around part is kind of the fun part. So anyway, I mean, ultimately guys, we don't have a ton of plans right now. Well, I don't. He's got a whole list of mods that he wants to do. We've already ordered a radio because he just can't stand the factory monsoon radio. So we're gonna put a double den in it, which we have a face plate that we were gonna put in the formula and we never did. Uh, he's gonna get another radio like we put in the uh, Camaro. So we're going to put a double den in it. I think you're going to order some speakers. Oh, well, there you go. He's ordered some speakers. I think you use key audio. Is that what you ordered? Yeah. We have, we've never tried key audio, but I have some friends and stuff that have used them and they said they're really good. Um, they make some F body specific packages. And so we'll just have to see when we, when he gets the stuff in what he got. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do it all at the same time or we'll do the radio in a video and then the key audio stuff in a different video. Not really sure why you need a radio when the car sounds this wicked, but it's a 17 year old for you. I don't know. That's the same way. Uh, other than that, so window tent, he wants to get some window tent on it. Uh, we got a, we got a bad motor, uh, on this side here, click the button. Pretty common. This pretty much lets you know that you got a bad motor. It's only on this side. So we, we're gonna probably address that at some point. Aside from that, it's, uh, it's up to him because I am not funding this project, guys. So the radio and all that stuff, this guy's paying for it. If he wants to mod it, wheels, tires, he's paying for it. But, you know, he's wanting to make kind of a drag car. He kind of wants to go to an automatic down the road. I think we're probably a ways from that. I tried to, you know, I tried to coax him into buying a car that he could enjoy now, buy some parts and, you know, we could knock it out a little bit at a time. So maybe buy a rear end, like a built rear end, uh, save up some money, buy a transmission. If he goes to a 480, I know a lot of people are going to say, why would you ruin a six speed car? But, uh, ultimately it's, you know, it's his car, it's his decision and, um, probably going to do some brakes at some point. The brakes just look kind of gross behind those open wheels. 
Um, he wants to build a turbo car. So, you know, I don't know if we're going to try to do the AC, an AC option or if he's going to want to do no AC. Uh, he says he's cool with not having AC since he's got one in his daily driver. So we'll just see. I mean, I know a lot of people are like probably cringing the fact that you would, you know, blow apart a really nice car, but Hey, you know, it's, it's fun to do and in my opinion i'd rather buy a nicer one like a sixty thousand mile one like this because it doesn't need paint it doesn't need interior if you want to mod it you can you don't have to worry about painting it I, you know i don't know guys I, I mod everything so stock sucks to be real honest with you if you're on this channel looking for stock stuff other than the the uh lamborghini back there you're probably not going to find it i think it's running just a hair on the rich side. You can see it's kind of yellowed the bumper. He's going to paint that, do the Cita mod, and we're going to have my painter paint that black. That will look a lot nicer. I've always thought that looks really good on these cars. But um, aside from that, you're just going to have to wait and see. I don't, I don't know what all we got planned, but we've got some stuff planned. And as he saves money, we are going to knock out some videos on it. But I know that the people that are excited about that car, and maybe this will energize me on that. We've got some parts that have came in on that. We are going to be rocking on it very soon. And um, I don't know. You got anything to say about this car? What do you think? I like it. You like it? I like it. There you go. Man, a few words. He needs boost. He needs boost. I don't think he needs any boost right now. It's a lot of car. It needs an automatic before it needs boost and some sticky tires. But anyway guys hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did please like always smash that thumbs up button guys if you are not subscribed you got to go down there and get subscribed We've got new stuff coming here while you're down there doing all that of course ring the bell icon that notifies you every single time we drop a new video and stay tuned to see what we work on next